The Environmental Protection Agency is hosting a meeting later this month in Horsham about the dirty drinking water discovered in the system there. When it was discovered in 2014, Horsham, Warminster, and Warrington reportedly had some of the highest levels of two particular chemicals nationwide. It's believed toxins used at Willow Grove Air Base and at the former Naval Air Warfare Center in Warminster have leaked into the groundwater tainting the water supply. Some studies reveal those chemicals have been linked to serious health effects. Senator Pat Toomey issued a letter asking the EPA to visit Southeast Pennsylvania saying, quote, the contamination in drinking water in Bucks and Montgomery counties is a potentially serious health matter for those impacted. According to the EPA, the July 25th meeting will be a two-day event open to the public to express their grievances. Chemical engineer Christine Heronic here to help us better understand what's happening and figure out what to do. So you've looked at the research, yes. you've seen some of the chemicals in there. Mm -hmm. By training, you know exactly what they are. What are the biggest water contamination concerns in your mind? So in my mind, the biggest concerns are going to be related to heavy metals, things like lead, arsenic, things like bacteria, E. coli, nitrates, nitrites, these come from like animal waste, as well as pH, hardness, and things like that. But we are seeing new man-made contaminants, unfortunately, in the water, and it's, and it's a big problem. A lot of people in Horsham, I was there earlier this week, are claiming that this dirty water has some type of link to their health issues, would you agree that those types of links can be made? I think that there is research that's being conducted. It's hard to actually conclusively state that, but okay. I think that the EPA definitely needs to do some investigation. Tell me this, um, when we're researching our own water, some people want to take matters into their own mm -hmm. hands when they hear this, um, what can we do? Do we buy test strips? Do we call out a company? Mm -hmm. What's the best way to get to the bottom of it as far as what's coming into our homes? So the good news is there is something called field test methods where, you know, the average person can take test strips, put them in water, and they'll actually change color, and you can compare them to a color chart. They're going to test for different things, like you can test for lead, you can test for bacteria, you can test for heavy metals. But anything above and beyond that, you would need to send out to a lab. A nice thing, actually, they're actually developing some smartphone apps in the, in the right now where you can actually test your water quality because something that's clean water today may not be clean tomorrow. So that's wow. a new technology that's on the horizon that we're seeing some really promising data for. Christine, what would you say is the best way to filter your water at home? If you say, okay, I've tested it or I just don't trust the system mm -hmm. that it's coming from, what are the best ways? I know I have one of those filters where mm -hmm. you fill it up and you put it in the fridge and mm -hmm. it just filters through. Some people have the ones you put on the actual spout. Like, mm -hmm. What's the best way, would you say? I would probably say the best thing is probably to do something like an activated carbon style filter. And that's essentially what a Brita filter is. Okay. What people don't realize is a one gram of activated carbon actually has 5,000 to 30,000 square feet of surface area. So it's a very porous material. Oh. It's very legit. And I would probably start with something like that as opposed to like other more intensive countertop methods. Just filter it out, do a physical separation to make sure that you're safe. Okay. Um, I do have a question about this. We always hear from officials, mm -hmm. boil your water, make sure you boil the water. Mm -hmm. When does that and does it not work? Because I think that you kind of have decided bacteria and chemicals are different. Exactly. And Boiling water is good to kill parasites, it's good to kill bacteria and E. coli, but it's not going to physically separate toxic man-made chemicals. It can actually make it worse, unfortunately. So I would say do a physical separation, filter out your water, unless there's a warning for bacteria, which there is not right now, right. Just, just physically separate it. Gotcha. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us. We appreciate you being here. All right. Again, the EPA has scheduled that two-day meeting starting July 25th. It's going to be open to the public, so people planning to attend should register on the EPA's community engagement webpage by July 20th. You can also find the website if you go to our website, fox29.com.